Hi, this is Ashley from My Dental Key. I'm an intern and pre-dental student at Swarthmore College. In today's video, we're going to be going over the steps to getting into dental school. This process is really challenging, and so we're here to help break it down for you so you can make strides toward getting offered admission. And with that, let's get on with the video. So in this video, we're going to be using a timeline to help us visualize the steps between high school and undergrad, what toward getting to dental school, starting off with high school, followed by your first year, second, third, and fourth year. And so in this video, we're going to be starting off with high school and pre-DS. If you're in high school, one of the biggest steps you can take toward your pre-dental journey is to get real life experience. And that real life experience tends to look like shadowing. And so you can find shadowing positions through your dentist or any other local dental offices. In my own experience, going in person to meet with dentists and local offices was the most effective way of finding a shadowing position. However, that might not be an option for everybody right now with the coronavirus. And so sending an email or giving offices a phone call might also be a great option for finding a shadowing position. Make sure it's very clear what your goals and expectations are for the shadowing position. Now that we've discussed high school and previous, we're gonna be moving on to talking about what you can do during your first year. It is our recommendation that you form a four-year course plan to help keep on top of these dental school requirements as well as your major. And so the, one of the first things to take a look at are the prerequisites and general requirements for dental school. These tend to be eight hours of biology with lab, physics, English, general chemistry with lab, and organic chemistry with lab. Eight hours is equivalent to two semester courses, or if you're on a quarter system, is equivalent to three quarter courses. Some schools also require you to take a biochemistry course. So it's important to keep in mind that these are general requirements. And so if you have a particular dental program in mind or a couple, it would be best to look these up, research them so you know what these dental schools are looking for. Also getting to know your pre-health advisor at your school could be really helpful maybe just taking the time to talk with them, go over your course plan, and also just get to know them, which could be really helpful for the future when you submit an application. Now that we've gone over some of the course requirements for applying to dental school, another thing you can take a look at during your first year are extracurriculars you might want to participate in. You should take a look at your school's extracurricular list. There might be something there for you, or if not, you can see if you can make your own club, find some people at your school that might follow the same passions as you. As long as you're having fun in the process and are pursuing the things you're interested in, that's all that matters. So now that we've talked a little bit about our first year, moving along to our second year on our timeline to dental school. Your goal for your second year of undergrad is to start completing some of your shadowing hours as well as meeting some of your course requirements. To tackle those course requirements, remember to review what you've looked into during your first year, those STEM courses that are pretty lengthy but are really helpful in preparing you for your dental admissions test also known as the DIT exam so take a look at those start completing those and you'll be on your way to applying to dental school so going right along from your second year to your third year of undergrad the first thing you want to think about during your third year is your dental admissions exam also known as the DIT there are four sections a survey of the natural sciences which contain biology general chemistry and organic chemistry followed by perceptual ability which have arbitrage, view recognition, angle discrimination, paper folding, cube counting, and 3D form development. There's also reading comprehension and quantitative reasoning, which are mathematical problems and applied mathematics word problems. And it can be really helpful if you complete the majority of your sciences to help prepare for this exam. So moving along, you also have the ADA, AADSAS application in this application. I recommend you read through the slide. There's important information from the ADA. You should also create a timeline for yourself on when you're going to complete this application in the summer after your third year. So here we provided a, the suggested timeline by the ADEA. Obviously, if it doesn't fit your schedule, it's okay. There's obviously going to be conflicts, so you want to personalize it to your own needs. And so here we're going to start with the before the application process, which includes researching programs and deadlines, obtaining a copy of your official transcript, and contacting potential evaluators and recommenders, and begin drafting your personal statement. At least three months prior to the deadline, you want to create your account with the ADA application and complete the college attendance section and evaluation section of the application. 
And so at least 10 to 12 weeks prior to the deadline, you want to have your school send your official transcript to the ADEA application and enter your coursework into your application as well. So check in with any potential evaluators. At least six to eight weeks prior to the deadline, complete and submit your application. You want to review the verification process and monitor your application for receiving transcripts and letters of evaluation. Four to six weeks prior to the deadline, you want to continue monitoring your application until it's been verified. Remember to personalize these to your own needs and we'll move along to what you'll be doing in your fourth year prior to dental school. In your fourth year before you're given acceptance to any dental school, you have to overcome the hurdle of getting interviewed and most dental schools require an interview before they offer acceptance to anybody. So here are some interview prep tips from my dental team members that we put together for you guys. And so the first tip is to know answers to your bread and butter questions. This is, could be why dentistry? Why not medicine? Why XXX school? Tell me about yourself. Greatest strengths and weaknesses? You want to know multiple. Um, and also, where do you see yourself in 10 years? What do you want to do in dentistry? Another tip is to review your CV and resume before your interview. And also look for mock interview opportunities offered at your school. They can give you good practice into what you might experience when you get interviewed. You want to bring a lot of questions when you're getting interviewed also and be prepared. Practice talking a lot. A slow, normal pace and smile. You can always look in the mirror when you're practicing to get the nervousness out. And then specific to schools, you want to look up any key people or deans in case they may be your interviewer. They can also review the school's curriculum and highlight the clubs and extracurriculars that you might be interested in joining. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to apply to dental school. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you can keep up with any future dental content that we post. And also give us a comment down below if for any content you might want to see in the future. And also follow us on our social media pages at My Dental Key. They'll be linked in the description box down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!